Is your CyberPower UPS display blinking? Let's fix it. All right, so I've purchased a couple of these uh, CyberPower UPSs from Costco over the years. Uh, this one happens to be the uh, 1350 VA model. Um, I've tried the uh, circuit breaker in the back and also the display shows the uh, batteries as fully charged, but uh, this is a red herring. Uh, the first one I had exhibited the same issue about a year and a half ago, and this procedure resolved the issue. So you're going to need to replace the two batteries within the unit. Uh, fortunately, it just requires a Phillips head screwdriver and the batteries. I'll put a link of the batteries I used in the description below. Before starting, uh, make sure that it's unplugged and powered off. Uh, next, put the unit on its side. Uh, let's remove the Phillips head screw on the bottom. Then the cover needs to be pulled down and out. Yep. And just make note of the, uh, the little hooks on the bottom and how they're fashioned. And once the cover's out of the way, you can disconnect these two connectors. And using these two tabs right here, remove the battery from the case. Now let's uh, undo the tape securing the uh, two batteries together. And uh, put it off to the side, uh, sticky side up since we'll be uh, reusing it. All right, now we'll unbox the two new batteries. And then uh, let's remove the two covers. And now we can separate uh, the two batteries. All right, so they appear to be wired in series. Uh, make note of how the uh, cables are connected. Uh, take pictures if necessary. Okay, uh, I'm going to start unplugging the uh, existing cables. Uh, just make note of how they're oriented and plugged in. Now let's plug the uh, cables back in the same orientation they were unplugged. Now let's uh, reattach the tape.
Next, reinsert the batteries back into the UPS. Uh, reconnect the cables. Now we're going to reinstall the front panel, insert the tabs into the holes, then just slide up. And finally, I'm going to reinstall the bottom screw. And what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this battery charge overnight before putting it back into production. Stay tuned. I just plugged the UPS into the wall and it's no longer beeping. Uh, looks like the uh, batteries did have a bit of a charge, but not nearly enough to uh, make me feel comfortable. So definitely going to have them charge overnight. All right, so the UPS has been in service for about a week and a half now without any sort of issues. Um, one thing that I do request is please dispose of the uh, old batteries properly. And if you happen to like what you see, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. Thank you.